Taurus, welcome to your July love forecast. Thanks for your patience while I get your readings out this month. Not very busy last week with private readings and uh, yeah, quite frankly, that was the only reason why I was unlike getting the rest of these readings out, but I'm here to do your reading today for the rest of July, um, probably going into a little bit of August, I suspect, uh, because it takes approximately 30 days or so for my forecast to develop. For your reading today, I am using the Thalema Tarot deck, and I will be clarifying core cards primarily with the Vera Sibylla right here. And at the end of your reading, I'm going to be pulling a message from the Psychic Tarot for the Heart. So I hope that sounds good. Let's go ahead and get started with your reading. And Taurus, this reading is for all Taurus suns, moons, risings, those on the cusp that may be watching. All Taurus suns, moons, risings, and those on the cusp. Spirit, what are the love messages and energies for the sign of Taurus, all suns, moons, risings, and those on the cusp that may be watching for the month of July 2017? This is their love forecast. What do they need to be aware of? What are the love messages and energies surrounding the sign of Taurus? We do have a full moon in Capricorn coming up in just a few days here on the 9th. Full moon in your uh, fellow Earth sign Capricorn. So your astrologer for how that is going to affect you and next coming uh, over the next coming weeks, days, weeks, months, no, usually weeks. Spirit, please show me the love messages and energies that you have for the sign of Taurus. comes up here. And at the bottom of the deck I have the Six of Swords in reverse. Okay. To me this indicates um, possibly wanting to move or wanting to move forward but something is preventing you from doing that. Could also indicate travel delays. Um, I'm also getting that someone is like stuck, feels like they're treading water, feels like they're not moving forward, and I'm getting it psychologically. Okay, let's see what's under that. Five of Pentacles, Four of Cups. So, uh, movement forward is, is going to be important for you this month. Um, I feel that you're trying to overcome something mentally, like a mental blockage or a psychological trauma. Trying to get past something that possibly has hurt you. Um, let's go ahead and take a look at the cards. The Chariot, very nice. Crossed by the Sun. Okay, well the Sun is in Cancer. We're going to be moving into Leo soon and uh, we have both the sign of Cancer and the sign of Leo here in your reading. Two major arcanas crossing each other at the center. Very powerful energies. At the base of the reading, I have the Nine of Pentacles. There's that Earth energy coming through. So far, very strong. Strong cards. The Nine of Wands. All right. Wow. Fortitude. Strength. And then we have the Two of Wands in your past. Going into the future, I have the Wheel of Fortune. Wow, Taurus. Really magnificent energies here. How you see yourself, you have the hermit in reverse. In your environment, this is how your significant other or the person you think about the most may be viewing you or dealing with you. They have the ace of cups in reverse. Your hopes and fears are the six of wands. Your outcome for the month of July is the five of cups in reverse. Okay. So let's talk about your cards. Well, actually, you don't have any um, core cards in your reading. No people 
showing up. That doesn't mean that there won't be people showing up in other areas of your life, but in terms of your love life, I'm not getting any specific people. I'm getting major energies influencing you. You do have um, quite a lot of major arcana, so there's a lot of energies that are going to be affecting you in July that are out of your control. Important to remember. Um, secondarily, I feel that manifestation energy is going to be very prominent. This is like that fire energy that you use to get things done. You have three wands cards here. And then uh, second to manifestation energy will be emotional energy. And I feel that there's going to be something that you are... Uh, well, we can talk about it in just a minute, but I, I do feel that cups or, or emotional energy will also be important. And then thirdly are the material world, which I think you're already excelling in, so that's not really that going to be work and so forth and career not so, uh, not as important. Although, uh, you know, this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with all of you. So you walk into the month of July, let's just say now you have the chariot, this is your energy. Well, quite a lot of powerful movement forward. You are just simply um, in a place in your life right now, Taurus, where you could steer this chariot in any direction that you like. I really feel you're, you're, you're kind of flying high right now. So this is a very good, good thing. If you are in a relationship, I feel like you have total control and mastery and you feel like you know where you're going. There's momentum here. If you're not in a relationship and you want to be, please know that this, this energy supports you very much in going after what it is you want. Um, it says that you have the reins, okay? And despite how you're feeling, you can move forward, all right? So there's a lot of freedom in this card, a lot of movement. Um, also, it's been coming up a lot that, so this represents your crown chakra and your higher consciousness. I think that there's a lot of universal energy supporting you as you move forward this month. And I'm seeing that you're able to balance your dark and your light sides um, like a sun god. That's the way that I feel. It's like you're 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 like uh, who is the the Greek god that rode his chariot too close to the sun? Well, I don't feel like you're going to be riding it too close to the sun, but we'll see. Your challenge is the sun itself. Could be a Leo energy, but it's kind of like wow, isn't it beautiful? The sun is coming out here on these children, which represents innocence and happiness, clarity. All right, now the card is in the challenge position, so uh, I feel that you could be doing a lot of traveling by car as well this month. That's highly possible, highly probable. Um, travel may also be very important to you. Movement, getting things going, moving, feeling the wind on your face, those are all positive things. But in the challenge position, the sun is that, what is, what is it that really makes you happy? What is it that, uh, and this is also about children. This also represents children, innocence, childlike innocence, happiness, the ego as well, and, and love, and love. Um, this is what is a challenge for you this month. Now, I can also say that some of you are battling uh, depression or have uh, recently made great stride, strides in your life to overcome, you know, uh, things that are standing in your way, uh, such as mental illness, depression. I don't really feel that here. I feel that the, the sun is helping you. That solar energy is helping you. And whenever I have two major arcana in the center crossing each other, um, it is going to feel a lot like you're being supported by things out of your control this month because these are extremely positive influences. The only thing I would say is that as we move into Leo season, that's where I think that things could get a little bit tougher for you, Taurus. But um, you... Uh, because of just burnout, because of burnout, because of just being out in the sun, just because things are going to be so bright for you, so happy for you. It's almost like how how um, how happy can you be? 
you know, you're really giving in, being given an opportunity by the universe just to be as happy and as bright and as, as, as enthusiastic and as wonderful as you can be this month. And that goes uh, the same for your love life. Okay. I'm going to skip to your recent past. I'm being called to go to your recent past. You have the two of wands. I see that you had a choice to make here. Your path became very clear in front of you. Um, I see, I saw you, I see you, that you, you were reaching for something, a goal, uh, perhaps a person, perhaps a plan. You have plans, you had made plans here. And, um, I feel that you were successful in making a decision. This was the right choice for you. I feel like you went for it, whatever it was. You saw that you had a choice to make and you did it. You went for it. And you're completely um, directing your life now. You are in control. And what has put you here, Taurus, is the Nine of Pentacles. So you are, I see someone who is independently wealthy. I see someone who has everything they could possibly want for. They don't really, you don't probably need much of anything else. You have everything you could possibly want. I mean, financially, I think you're doing quite well. Um, so this is really good. I mean, the, the, you're just, this is really successful energy around you. Okay. Um, what else do I want to say about the nine of pentacles? And this is to me the most stable, um, of the pentacles. 10 is almost too much and can get a little bit too staid. Here I feel like you have like your freedom, you have money, you have it all really and you are directing your life uh, quite easily and without a lot of hurdles right now. The only thing I'm just seeing standing in your way is your own happiness, Taurus. And that is just about allowing this energy of the sun to influence you and to protect you. And um, it is because the North Node is in Leo right now. Leos are being favored by this uh, switch um, from the Pisces Virgo to the uh, Leo Aquarius nodes. And to be more childlike, to be more innocent and free, to, to um, let your light shine, that is the Leo way. And to be a leader and to really just feel, be happy, allow yourself to be happy. Um, can you do that? Can you have it all? Yes, you can have it all. In your thoughts and feelings, you are tired, uh, but you are also victorious. You've gotten through so much, and uh, there's a lot of growth happening for you right now. Now, um, I want to say that uh, you're resting. A little, you need to take some time to rest, but you um, have been working extremely hard, Taurus. You've been working extremely hard. You've been manifesting like crazy. You went from two wands to nine wands here. You went from zero pentacles to nine pentacles. You have a chariot and the sun influencing you. So yes, there's a lot of growth happening for you and you're not going to give up. You're going to keep going. You want to keep going, you're, you're tired, you're worn out, you do need to take some rest time for yourself. Um, make sure that uh, you are happy. Um, it's important that no matter what you're doing, that uh, Taurus is the one that is happy at the end of the day. So you cannot be bending over backwards for everyone around you. Make sure that there are people there to help support you and take care of you as well. Because I see someone here who could potentially be doing a lot of the work on their own and capable of doing all, all of it on their own. But, but why? But why do you need to do it on your own? You have, I see there's two people here and they're just mesmerized. They're just mesmerized by the love that they share the love all around them. And um, it isn't, uh, it is your birthright to be a happy human on this earth. So please know that 
Now, all you have to do is accept the gifts that you're being given right now. Do not question why me. <laughs> Just because you are special right now, you are being favored. And you also even have the wheel in your near future. This is fate and destiny unfolding in your life. Yes, Taurus, this is saying that uh, changes are going to be happening for you. There is good fortune on the way. Um, you all, all you have to do is just let go of the need to control any situation. Everything is unfold, unfolding according to plan, according to the universe's plan for you. All good things in good time, and yes, you are being blessed here. The wheel also represents growth and expansion. So, uh, so much movement here. It's going to feel like you're riding a giant wave. Okay, and the solar energy of the sun is supporting you. Um, it's just going to feel magical. It really is. Now, I feel that you are, towards the middle of the month, going to be doing a little bit of hiding out, a little bit of cave diving, going into a little bit of a cave here. Uh, I see a lot of uh, you needing to take some time out for yourself, get some rest, um, catch up on your sleep. And um, I feel that there's a particular issue for you. And I think it has to do with perhaps an emotional uh, issue going on in your environment. If this is your significant other, they could be going through a tough time. We have the Ace of Cups here in reverse, which to me is uh, possibly uh, someone is rejecting an offer of love a gift of love and this is really the gift of unconditional love it is the holy grail is the chalice and from it uh, all love comes it is about replenishment it's it's about also your uh, having new feelings having new emotions everything feeling new so there's something going on in your environment here and now this could be going on with your significant other if you have one or your partner if you're in a relationship. Either way, uh, the energies are going to be uh, pretty much the same depending on your situation. But I think that you're taking a closer look at something here. And remember that the answers aren't um, external to you. They come from within you. So if someone in your environment is having a hard time accepting love in their life or letting, or is feeling numb emotionally or is uh, feeling a bit drained, then maybe they need to take the space that they need to replenish their cup. Um, this isn't necessarily uh, a reflection on you. Now, it also says that this is how they may be viewing you or dealing with you. So maybe they see that you need some time to replenish your emotional well you could be feeling drained emotionally. You may need to take some time out for yourself. Remember that those answers can be found once again within your within yourself by taking the time you need to replenish your spiritual self, your spiritual gifts. Um, but uh, we have Virgo energy here and we have water sign energy around you in your environment. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. So some of you could be dealing with a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. I'm also seeing Cancer here and Leo. Yeah, and then we have uh, the fire sign energy and the earth energy here. So mostly I'm seeing Virgo, Cancer, Leo. Your hopes and fears have to do with victory, getting your recognition, winning. This is about conquest and social admiration, praise. So this is what you're hoping for, Taurus. You really do, you do, you really do want to be recognized for your hard work. And uh, again, the sun is coming out here. You just want, um, you feel that you, you've worked really hard and you want the praise and the recognition to go along with it. Because the Six of Wands is all about that job well done. It's about being recognized by your peers, by your your family, your friends. Um, and it's about good leadership and rewards. 
Okay, so yeah, you. I think you want to win like some kind of prize here. I'm not saying that, but um, definitely you are hoping for victory no matter what. Your outcome is the Five of Cups in reverse. Okay, so what happened? What is happening here? Well, I'm seeing someone that is like dwelling dwelling on a loss, okay? Um, I think this goes back to someone in your environment that is rejecting an offer of love or is feeling emotionally drained. Now, there could be that you're, you've suffered a loss and you are grieving over that. This card to me speaks to someone who is... Um, getting over uh, a, a loss here or grieving a loss. Now, it's important that you don't stay in this place for too long, okay, because I am picking up that you sometimes tend to isolate yourself from the world, like cut yourself off from the world and therefore cut yourself off from love. And that's why I feel that the sun is your challenge here, your own happiness. Some of you could be battling with depression. You may find that um, this is something that is calling to you that you need to spend more, pay more attention to. Um, because sometimes with people, I, I find that like on the outside, it appears that you have everything going for you, Taurus. But I feel that on the inside is someone who is possibly suffering from depression or it's going through a really rough time and is not able, is not really maybe expressing their feelings to anyone or really opening up about it. Okay, now it could also be a rejection or a loss here that you're dealing with. So, you know, please do get the appropriate help that you need because I also feel like I have a Six of Swords in reverse at the bottom of the deck, which speaks to someone who is not moving on past some kind of psychological trauma. All right, um, and I feel like you are going to be, uh, you do need to notice the good things that you have and the help that there is there for you. There, there are people that can help you if you are struggling, but please know that the, uh, the major energies here are supporting you moving forward, and um, the only thing standing in your way is your own happiness, you know, so... Whatever it takes, uh, obviously beyond, uh, you know, hurting yourself. We don't want you to hurt yourself. But whatever it takes to make you happy, uh, Taurus, I think is going to be worth it. Even if it means um, possibly uh, speaking to someone, uh, trying some different techniques, spending some time, taking, your, taking some rest for yourself. Um, let's go ahead and pull your oracle message. I mean, obviously, mental health can impact our relationships, and most importantly, our relationship with ourselves. So, we want you to be happy, we want you to be successful, but we also want you to know that it's very important that um, we don't want you to do it all on your own. Ask for help. There's help there for you. I'm being called to this card here. Dedicated effort. So this card is about commitment and working uh, and work as well. It resonates with your earth energy of the Eight of Pentacles. Okay, Taurus. Dedicated effort. Keywords are work, perseverance, skill, understanding. Creating and maintaining satisfying relationships takes effort and diligence. You've shown that you have what it takes and that you're dedicated. Through your life's experiences, you've learned some valuable interpersonal skills. Use these tools to continue to nurture your relationships with family, friends, and your partner. 
It's easy to lose focus, especially when situations become difficult. However, you have the integrity and discipline to continue to work at improving your relationships with others. Your efforts will be rewarded. This is a good time to learn more about the people you're currently in a relationship with. The more you understand a person's beliefs, the easier it is to comprehend the motives behind his or her actions. This greater understanding will go far in fostering better communication. Learning new communication skills would also be useful at this time. You have what it takes to, to sustain positive, loving, and supportive relationships. Keep up the good work. So uh, one thing that I would say here is that um, I feel that someone is taking a closer look at either a rejection or a feeling of um, an emotional problem, an emotional blockage, or a feeling of being emotionally drained here, okay? And it would be worth talking about if this is an issue going on in a specific relationship. Um, I like that he's facing the Ace of Cups here, but they are both in reverse. If I turn them upright, he's not even seeing this this cup here. And same with the card here. See how she's not even seeing the love around her. So anyway, these cards were reversed like this. So it could be that there is some kind of emotional... Uh, someone is feeling numb or someone has uh, let go of a lot of a lot of emotions recently and that could be someone in your environment could be that there's someone that is uh, rejecting an offer of love and you are uh, wanting to gain more insight as to why that could be but it's just saying that all relationships take effort and time and then you do have the tools uh, to work on them uh, and um, communication is saying is going to be very important. So working on your communication skills could be that someone in your environment is um, not communicating with you effectively or perhaps you aren't communicating with them effectively and it's creating something, some dynamic here. Um, it's happening silently or not uh, but I do feel like uh, your guidance messages are very clear all right you you do have the tools um, it's going to take effort over a long period of time but like see how they're building he's building this masterpiece think of this as like a giant mosaic you have to like prime the wall, then you've got to put down the first layer of paint. There's probably an outline here. This is a masterpiece that you're creating over time. And every little detail here, these are just little details. And it's just saying that if this is something happening, it's a blip on the radar. It's just a little uh, thing that needs your attention right now. But in the course of your life, you have there are two people here, or maybe it's just you, but I feel like this is something that you can work out. That's what it's saying. You can work on this together. You can work on this for yourself. And you absolutely 100% have the tools and the skills and the effort required to succeed. No matter what, Taurus. This is very positive and nothing that you can't do. Nothing that you can't work out, that you can't work on. Um, it's it's all right there for you all right i hope you guys enjoy this reading i hope you have a wonderful rest of july i am holding a special this summer on question based readings you can find those by clicking up in the description below in this video there will be a link there to my website click on services go to private readings that will take you directly to my scheduling page or you can click on the link below in the description that it will take you to my scheduling page directly 
I've listed both for those of you who don't like websites or want to just go ahead and book your appointment. Uh, one question readings are five, two question readings are 10, and three question readings are 15, which is a outrageous price for a video reading. Um, you can uh, list your questions on the Querent Intake form. I would steer away from like doing heavy relationship type reading questions because those do honestly require more time and I have a specific relationship reading that I can do for you. Actually, I have a couple. So these are just for more um, basic questions, uh, more open-ended questions. Um, in fact, if you need to know, want to learn more about how to phrase a question for the tarot, I've got a guide for that. And I highly recommend that you do ask about how to phrase questions because I've been getting a lot of people that are asking me, you know, yes, no questions are okay, but uh, it's better to be, to leave things a bit open, you know, to leave things a bit open for interpretation because we want the tarot to help guide us. We don't want to just narrow down uh, right away from the beginning. We don't want to narrow down our opportunities for growth and expansion by uh, narrowing the question down to something. So if you if you want more help on learning how to phrase a question before you book your reading, that would be a good way to start. Um, you can email me at the good, the bad, and the tarot at gmail.com or just say on your query intake form, uh, I need help phrasing my questions. I already have the questions in mind, but could you help me phrase them for the tarot if you're unsure how to do that? Because there is kind of a, I wouldn't say a right way and a wrong way, but there's a way that's more... Um, I would say that uh, the tarot is a sacred tool for those of us who know how to read and there's a way that kind of uh, supports the way that the tarot is meant to be read, uh, used to read for and there's a way that kind of diminishes and is disrespectful to it. Um, or just it doesn't, uh, you know, the tarot isn't just used for yes, no questions. It's used for spiritual guidance and to, um, and, and for intuitive interpretation. So, um, just to keep that in mind when you are asking these questions. So I digress and perhaps I will do a separate video on that because or even a blog post because I've been thinking about what to put on my blog lately. I think it would be a good start. But uh, anyway, cheers to you guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon in August. For Actually, I'll be back for the mid-month readings. Check those out on my Patreon. I'll put the link in the description for those of you who are interested.